Out of New Bedford this morning, the owner of a mini market says he was just defending his wife and his business when he fought back against some armed thieves who tried to rob his store. NBC 10's Brian Crandall reports. Yeah, this security camera video out of New Bedford is wild. Store owners fighting back against these would-be robbers in large part because of what had happened to them just days earlier. Masked men wielding knives rush into the St. Elias Mini Mart. He said, give me money, give me money. But instead, they get a lot more than they bargained for Friday night. No cash, just a beat down. Yeah, this is my army. <laughs> Store owner Nicholas Daywood shows off the weapon he used to fight back. Check out the video. Nicholas starts swinging. One would-be thief runs away. But the other is in for it, as Nicholas doesn't hold back. To understand the store owner's rage, you just have to go back to the beginning of last week. He was robbed by two thieves with knives, one putting a knife to his wife, Clotilda. Those robbers taking all the cash. Every night I don't sleep, I wait for maybe he's come again. This time, the Daywoods were ready when these two came in. See something here? I pick up, I say, I do like that. As Nicholas battles the remaining bandit, Clotilda locks the door, trapping him. I locked the door, I told my husband, take care of this one. And he did, even as the crook tries to use a cookie tin as a shield. Bad day for them. At one point, Nicholas loses his stick, but thinks quick, using a shelf as a weapon, whacking away at the suspect. Uh, I defense my life, I defense my wife, uh, my business. Then neighbors jump in. We broke the window in, we came in, and him and another neighbor tackled the guy down, and then I sat on him. Even as the thief still had his knife. We really didn't care. We, we were angry. Others joined the posse until police showed up. Neighbors say they came to the storekeeper's aid because he's been good to them. He's a good guy, you know. He's older, and we just wasn't going to let it happen. I thank God that I did do it because if we didn't, who knows where the owner and his wife would have been. But Nicholas brushes off the encounter. I am okay. I am all ready for another one. No problem. He says he works too hard for his money. For it to be stolen. I did not take my money uh, one more time. No, nobody take it. So one suspect caught no word if these are the same two that robbed the store earlier in the week. I'm Brian Crandall, NBC 10 News.